I don't think this is working properly. So in my last video I fixed up this Anbanic, whatever it's called, and I was having trouble charging it after I swapped out the port and I thought it was my shoddy workmanship, as you do. But it turns out it just didn't like the cable I was using, so I switched to another cable and lo and behold it started charging. And it does, it works absolutely fine now. So we use this cable, you can just about make out the charge light on the top there and we get the symbol on the screen. When I plug it in via this, plug it in, it lights up, it's showing 4.95 volts, plug it in here, 0 0.5, 0 0.46, nothing on the screen, but we do get the light at the top. But, there you go, it's dropped, and I just moved it slightly, I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's dropped to no, it's dropped to zero now. It's dropped to zero. It just doesn't feel right. I, I, I don't know. But it looks a little bit wonky as well. Let me show you. There we go. You see that? It's uh, It doesn't look particularly straight, does it? So, and it seems to have a bit of movement, like side to side. I don't know what's going on, but I just don't think it's not, it's not reliable. It's not working all of the time. So I'm going to pop it open. I don't know, maybe it's just the solder joints have just come away. I don't know. But let's find out. How do you get in it? Don't worry, there's no wrap today. Mm, like that. Right, so that's where it goes in. That's the input. And then that's the output. Why is the movement on it? Oh. That'll be why. It's not just push fit, surely. That must, the solder must have come away. It's got pins either side. Let me get this under the microscope and show you. Right, yeah, there. I mean, you can clearly see that it is supposed to be soldered. But it was just, it was just sat there. I can't even get it back on now. There, there we go. It was just sort of sat there like that. So it will have been barely making a connection. I'm not even sure that's right. Right, well, clearly it's not supposed to be like that. So what I need to do, that look, is that pad gone there? Yeah, that pad's gone. There's still solder on that one. Slip it over. That one wasn't even soldered by the looks of it. That was like a fresh pad. Hmm. Yeah, it only has one on either side. Right, okay, well that explains that. Right, so what I need to do is clean this up. So let's clean it up, let's remove the solder that's there, and see what we're left with. And then we use some Chipquick SMD291 Flux. First of all, I'm gonna add some leaded solder. I'm going to try and wick it away with this super wick, fine braid wick stuff. Somebody asked me the uh, diameter of this, width, I don't know. It's 2.5 millimeters. And we're going to clean it with some isopropyl alcohol, 99.9% pure. Beautiful. Right, that's one side done. Let's flip it over and let's do the same on the other side. Beautiful. I mean, nice. Right, let's see how well this accepts some new leaded solder. And it's a shame that we can't use this pad at the end, do you? You'd think it would have two anchor points on. 
So it's got one here and then one on the other side on that on that side, on the other side, on that side. I know what I mean. I think we're good, it's just it's hard to see, but I don't think there's any more reserve bridge on the first one. I can check it with the multimeter. Let's just give that a quick clean. Multimeter in. Continuity. Right, I think we do have a short there. That's ground, I think, so that should be connected to that. Those two should not be connected together. Let's just check the rest of them. So the rest of them are good. I think it's just that one and that one. Let's try and sort that out. Surely now. Yes. Right now we're good. Let's just check them for uh, solidity. Solid. Solid. Oh, hang on. Well, I think it's... There's a little bit of movement on that one. Solid. Solid. That one's definitely moving. Solid. 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 A little bit of movement on that. Right, I'm just going to go over them again. Which one was definitely moving? It's that one. Yeah. Okay. And that is why you should always check for solidness. I will say, uh, from this angle, that it doesn't look like they're connected, but it's just the angle that it's at. They are a little bit off center, but that's just the way that the port goes on it. But they are, they are in line. I mean, I'm guessing this thing is very cheaply made. Surely we've got it now. Yes, we do. Let's clean it up. Excellent, and no shorts either. Let's do the other side. I mean, it really doesn't look like it lines up, does it? Oh no, that's where the pad's missing. Oh, I'm gonna, oh, right. I'm gonna, ha well, those two are joined together anyway, aren't they? Let's just double check that. So that is a ground. Where's the other ground on this? Well, it's there, isn't it? I think that is just an anchor point, isn't it? Answer this. What are we going to do? Right, because I'm not entirely sure. I'm, I think those are ground. Let me check. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm making this more difficult than it needs to be. Those two are connected together, right? Well, they certainly were. Oh, now they're not. Right, so there must there must have been a bridge between those two. So I, I'm not entirely sure whether that's supposed to be a ground or not. So for that reason, I'm out. Um, I'm just gonna have to. Um, for that reason, I'm just gonna have to glue it. I think. Hmm, it's not great, is it? Well, let's solder up the the pins first, and then I'll worry about that. Oh, I did that side much better than the first side. Let's check it. Solid. Check for shorts. No, we're all good. Right, how can I strengthen this now? I'm going to use a little bit of this. It's really, really strong stuff. This is glue. Strong stuff. And I'm just going to put a little bit here and a tiny bit here. It should give it a little bit more strength. I mean, it's it's strong. It's quite strong as it is, but this shouldn't do any harm. 
maybe. That's far too much, Steve. Oops. Well, it shouldn't go anywhere now, should it? Let's flip it over and do the same on the other side, but slightly less, hopefully. I only have to do it on this side here. Slightly less, Steve. Come on. In fact, there's a little bit already on the end of the nozzle. Just use that bit. Oh, that's enough. That's enough. Ugh. Don't know what's on the end of this, but it doesn't matter. There we go. All right, let's leave that to dry for three hours. I wish I had some of that spray stuff that accelerates this. I might get some. Three hours later. All right, that should be nice and dry now. Nice. Right, let's put this back together. Lovely. That is nice and solid. Okay, let's see if it works. Here we go. So we've got zero amp draw now. Let's plug it in. Yes. Now we've got one point one. It was only on like half an amp before. I'm presuming that's that's a good thing. Yeah, we got the charging light on. Let's just check it on my phone. Right, let's plug the phone in. Oh, it's fully charged. <laughs> I did that last time, but you can see the lights around the edge. So it is. It is working. Let's just double check and put it the other way. Yeah, fully charged, and then the, the light's on. So yeah, it's working perfectly. Sure, it would have been easier just to buy a new one. They're, they're not expensive, but why buy a new one when you can fix the broken one? That's my new motto. And yes, it's a stupid motto. No rap today, hip hip hooray, too quick to open with zero delay. Either way, I still gotta praise the patrons each and every day. They start supporting, I start talking, make stupid videos, no one applauding. But I'ma keep on cause I'd like I won the lotto when yes, that's right, it's a stupid motto. A stupid motto.